vulnerability assessment. It can help to discover issues before it becomes a problem and can be used on its own or better still with the patch management feature in Advanced Management Pack. The agent performing the vulnerability assessment scan will download definitions based on the Cronus vulnerability and patch management database. This database is updated continuously throughout the day so as soon as a vulnerability is reported for a supported software, it will be included in our database. We are also constantly expanding the number of software that are supported by vulnerability assessment. This includes Microsoft, macOS, and Linux operating systems and components, commonly used runtimes such as Oracle Java, and popular applications such as Zoom, Teams, VPN clients, web browsers, and more. There are also a number of dashboard widgets that can be used for comprehensive reporting on vulnerability detection, severity, and patch availability to stay up to date. Next is the usage section of the report stack. Here you can get usage reports for the services that you're offering to your clients and resellers. Reports are available in both HTML and CSV formats. There are two types of usage report. The first one is scheduled report. Schedule Report is a monthly summary report that shows service usage details for your child, customer, and partner tenants. It is sent via email to all administrators in your tenant on the second day of each month for the previous month's usage. And you can choose the level of detail for the report. The second type is Ad Hoc Report. There are three types of Ad Hoc Report. The first one is Current Usage. Current Usage contains the current service usage details and you can choose the level of detail for the report. The second one is Summary for Period. Summary for Period shows the total service usage for a time period and you can choose the time period and level of detail for the report. The third one is Day by Day for Period. Day by Day for Period shows Day by Day service usage breakdown for a time period and you can choose the time period and level of details for the report. Next is Operations. Similar to Operations in the Monitoring tab, Operations reports are widget-based. What's different is that in Monitoring, it's one set of widgets in a dashboard, and in Reports, we have multiple reports, each with its own set of widgets. Each report has a predefined set of widgets, and you can customize rearrange and add more widgets. Download and send as email are also available. Another difference is that reports can be scheduled to be sent automatically via email. You can change the name of the report, set one tenant for all widgets in the report, change the report date range, and schedule. You can also add more reports. Lastly, there are some additional actions available. You can clone the report, export as JSON file, dump the report data as a CSV file, and delete the report. Next is Executive Summary. Executive Summary Reports provides an overview of the protection status of a customer. You can choose which direct customer tenant to create the report for. Executive Summary Reports have sections to organize the widgets in the report and they can be customized. You can add more sections to the report. You can also customize and schedule the report. One thing that's different about the executive summary report is that instead of specifying email addresses, you can specify which company contact to send the report to. Lastly, you can download the report as Excel and PDF file. 